There are so many people in the world, and, and, and you know, you may be watching this right now, and you have these incredible ideas, and what you think is missing is motivation. And that's not true. Because the way that our minds are wired, and the fact about human beings, is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable, or scary, or difficult. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things because our brains are trying to keep us alive. And in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you want to do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're going to have to do things that are difficult, uncertain, or scary, which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. Motivation's garbage. You, you only feel motivated to do the things that are easy, right? What do you think that is? Oh, I know exactly why that is. Because I, I, I've studied this so much because for me, one of the hardest things to figure out was why is it so hard to do the little things that would improve my life? And what I've come to realize and what we'll talk a lot about today is that the way that our minds are designed is our minds are designed to stop you at all costs from doing anything that might hurt you. And the way that, 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 that this all happens is it all starts with something super subtle that none of us ever catch. And that is with this habit that all of us have that nobody's talking about. We all have a habit of hesitating. We have an idea, you're sitting in a meeting, you have this incredible idea, and instead of just, you know, saying it, you stop and you hesitate. Now what none of us realize is that when you hesitate, just that moment, that micro moment, that small hesitation, it sends a stress signal to your brain. It wakes your brain up, and your brain all of a sudden goes, oh, oh wait a minute, why, wait, why is he hesitating? He didn't hesitate when he put on his killer spiky sneakers. <laughs> he didn't hesitate with the uh, really cool track pants. He didn't hesitate with the NASA t-shirt. Now he's hesitating to talk, something must be up. So then your brain goes to work to protect you. It has a million different ways to protect you. One of them is called the spotlight effect. It's a known phenomenon where your brain magnifies risk. Why? To pull you away from something that it perceives to be a problem. And so you can truly trace every single problem or complaint in your life to silence and hesitation. Those are decisions. And what I do and what's changed my life is waking up and realizing that motivation's garbage. I'm never gonna feel like doing the things that are tough or difficult or uncertain or scary or new, so I need to stop waiting until I feel like it. And number two, I am one decision away from a totally different marriage, a totally different life, a totally different job, a totally different income, a totally different uh, relationship with my kids. Not like one decision, I'm divorcing you, in, in the marriage example, but one decision on you know, you could be having a conversation with your spouse and you feel your emotions rise up and within a tiny window, those emotions can take over and can impact how your marriage goes. Or you can learn how to take control of that micro moment. And we can get into this a little bit later, but a lot of us talk about the fact that you have a gut feeling. But what all this research that I've done for the book and, and all the speaking that I do, what I've discovered that's fascinating is actually, when you set goals, when you have an intention on something that you wanna change about your life, your brain helps you. What it does is it opens up a checklist and then your brain goes to work trying to remind you yeah. of that intention that you set. And it's really important to develop the skill, and I, I say that word purposefully, the skill of knowing how to hear that inner wisdom and that intention kicking in and leaning into it quickly. So for me, my brain saying, that's it, right there, move as fast as a rocket mill. I wanted to change my life. And I think most people that are miserable or that are, that are really like dying to be great and dying to have more, we want to change. We want to live a better life. We want to create more for our families. We want to be happier. The, the desire is there. Again, it's about how do you go from knowledge to action. So the first thing in this story that's important is realizing that the answer was in me. And my mind was telling me, pay attention. Could have also been the bourbon. I had a couple <laughs> from Manhattan set. 
Anyway, the next morning, the alarm goes off, and um, I pretended NASA was there. It's the stupidest story. I literally went five, four, three, two, one. I counted out loud, and then I stood up. And I, I'll never forget standing there in my bedroom. It was dark, it was cold, it was winter in Boston. And for the first time in three months, I had beaten my habit of hitting the snooze button. I couldn't believe it, and I thought, wait a minute, counting backwards? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Well, the next morning I used it again, and it worked. The next morning I used it again, and it worked. The next morning I used it again, and it worked. And then I started to notice something really interesting. There were moments all day long, all day long, just like that five second moment in bed, where I knew knowledge, what I should do. And if I didn't move within five seconds, my brain would step in and talk me out of it.